So hateful COVID-19, you are a mean and savage beast, but I think you have actually helped me survive and make decisions I may never have made, and I do feel a stronger woman for it. My 10-year-old son bounds into my room at 7am talking about Doctor Who things I don't understand and have even less interest in at this time in the morning. We fill our days with things to do, meetings, catch-ups with friends, socialising, being in the world. Some of these things we want to do, but a lot we feel obliged to do, and sometimes we can't tell the difference. We've all got stories from lockdown, but these ladies from in and around Eastbourne have put pen to paper in the form of a book. A hundred women, a hundred stories, a piece of pandemic history. I was trying to enjoy the fact that things were different and I was trying to be kind to myself. None of us understood the disease and how quickly it would, you know, ravage across the world. And I was really frightened. And the way I deal with that is I put my thoughts on paper. The book was created by local charity Wayfinder Woman. In a project we did previously when we were researching Eastbourne's past, we couldn't find anything about ordinary women and we knew that ordinary women's voices were completely ignored and so we wanted to have something that would stand the test of time. Each page of this book a reflection of the unprecedented times we faced. Josie Hannett, BBC South East Today, Eastbourne. Well, Nina Ridge joins us now for the weather. Nina, what does the weekend have in store for us? It's not looking too bad, Amanda. Not a huge amount of sunshine. I think that cloud is going to continue to be fairly stubborn over the next couple of days. A little bit of patchy light rain is always possible. The winds are fairly noticeable through the day on Sunday, but a little lighter tomorrow. And all the while, it does mean it is going to be fairly mild. And it is mild today, although that cloud is giving us the grey skies. The rain is tending to come and go and it will continue through the afternoon. It is patchy and it's light and we've got temperatures reaching highs of around about 14 degrees through the afternoon. It does mean that through this evening and overnight tonight, temperatures not falling away a great deal. That blanket of cloud will be with us and we could continue to see the odd spot of rain here and there. And temperatures will still be in double figures first thing tomorrow morning at around about 10 to 11 degrees. Now, through the day tomorrow most places should be dry the greater chance of perhaps seeing a few showers is across east kent further west we may even see a little bit of late afternoon brightness but very limited indeed and those temperatures again 13 to 14 degrees more likely to see possibly a little bit of sunshine as we go through the day on sunday a better chance of seeing a few breaks in the cloud but a cold northeasterly breeze amanda Nina, thank you very much well, tonight in South East Today, it's one week to go until the BBC's Children in Need event and the 24-hour fundraising drumathon, as you can see, is well underway. Join us for a special performance by BBC weather presenter Owain Wynne-Evans along with 50 other drummers. They'll be playing to the BBC News theme tune. Well, that's it from me and the news team here. Ellie Crisell will be back tonight at 6.30. Until then, have a good afternoon.